Shut In should have been a great film. Its central character, child psychologist Mary Portman, played by Naomi Watts, is an isolated woman, grieving for the loss of her husband and caring for her unresponsive stepson. Completely exhausted and suffering from night terror, she is considering moving him into a care home. Added to this psychological battle between parental responsibilities versus the limits of human endurance, one of her young patients goes missing after a session. So you have all the elements there for an intimate character drama. Throw in a potential romance with... Um, man, and you could pretty much bottle the awards buzz. Except some idiot decided not to make a clever, intimate, character-driven drama. They decided to make a thriller instead. So once all the groundwork is laid, we get one of the most predictable jump scares I've ever seen, and it all goes downhill from there. You'll spot the big plot twist about 15 minutes before it actually happens, and then to Dreamland about 10 seconds after that. Despite an incredibly long third act, this is not a long film. I mean, it makes claims to a runtime of 91 minutes, and for that it is going to hell for lying. By my watch, it lasted for 1 hour, 24 minutes and 54 seconds. And that's me being merciful and not removing time for the studio logos at the start of the film. Watts is good in her role, even as the film degrades around her. Everyone else just seems to be embarrassed that they're here or trying to chew the scenery and failing miserably. There's no tension, no thrills and no shocks or spills. Just the sad feeling that there could have been a film here with some buzz, but instead it's just a waste of time, effort and money that can't even find worth as a cult classic. Skip it. But what did you guys think, and what is your film that you feel let you down the most after an interesting opening? Comment below, let me know. I'm Daniel, this has been a dunking. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe.